Hi, I'm Brad Fallon with your Freeline Report for April 16, 2008. First up, Google Analytics users got an email from Google this week talking about all the new features in Google Analytics. If you haven't set it up yet on your website, now is a great time to get started. The big new feature is benchmarking. So if you agree to share your data anonymously with Google, then you can have access to the raw data from all the other websites in your category. It really gives you a gauge on how well your website is stacking up against the competition. Next, there's a new social internet marketing community online. It's hosted on the free community engine, Ning. This group is called the Strategic Online Business and Marketing Community. It's kind of a mouthful, but it allows users to submit reviews, reports, and videos, as well as participate in a community of professionals and share knowledge in the forums and chat rooms. It's all free, and I should point out that this website makes a good complement to our own online community for the free line at freeline.crowdvine.com. If you haven't joined us there, check it out. Google recently announced a new policy for people who buy AdWords. This new policy requires that AdWords links display the actual URL of the landing page they're linking to. Now, so far, they don't seem to be enforcing this rule real strictly, and links containing tricky URLs are still getting displayed just fine, but if you're an AdWords user, you might want to keep your eye on this one. And there's a new tool called Viewfinder. It allows you to flickerize Google Earth. Not only will it attach your photo to any geographical location, it also poses it at the correct angle, so it blends into the 3D rendered Google Earth landscape. This stuff's really cool. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. And finally, the GIMP moves up to version 2.5 this week. Not this GIMP, this is the free alternative to Photoshop. It has many bug fixes and improvements, including their interface. It's now more familiar to users of high-end graphics programs like PaintShop Pro and Photoshop. It also got a boost in the resolution department, and it now supports many more colors, textures, and special effects. So for those of you who tried out the free Adobe Photoshop Express, but found it a little bit lacking in features and functionality, this package may be worth looking into as a free alternative with more power. Until next time, I'm Brad Fallon. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.